What's good, guys? I'm back, as requested, with the top offensive players for each position in Madden Mobile. This list is based off of attributes and not overall ratings, because I don't need to tell you guys which numbers on the top right of the card are bigger. Kicking it off, we have my top four offensive tackles. What you're looking for in offensive tackles are the blocking stats and the strength stat. At number four is the Young Beluga. The captain card, Brian Bulaga. On the right are the player's base attributes without any boosts. So that's what you guys should pay attention to because my player boosts aren't gonna, are probably aren't going to be the same as the boosts you guys have. Don't forget about the individual boosts, though. In this case, Brian boosts his own pass block from a 91 to a 93. You can see that he has solid blocking stats, great acceleration and speed, even though their stats aren't that important. He's also very cheap. You can get him for like 30k by completing his set. So if you don't have a good offensive tackle and you're a little bit broke, whale hunt in Green Bay, you know what I'm saying? Next we have Teron Smith with the glitched out captain logo. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you guys every player in this screen because I don't have every player on my list. But Tehran's captain card, his blocking stats are a little bit better than Bulaga's. He also has good speed, which, like I said, isn't important. I'm just pointing out the outstanding numbers. He goes for around 70k if you complete his set. So you're spending 40k more for marginally better stats, but I had some kicking around money. So I decided to pick him up for this video. At number 2 is the MVP Anthony Davis card. He has an amazing 99 run block stat and great agility. He's lacking a little bit. No, actually, Teron Smith, I forgot to mention that, guys, is lacking a little bit of strength. 89 strength as compared to most of my, uh, of my other offensive tackles on this list. But back to Anthony Davis, very good offensive tackle. He's like 250k, though, if you complete his MVP set. Finally, the best offensive tackle is Anthony Munoz, outstanding 98 rated pass blocker and outstanding strength awareness, but he's over a million coins. Next, we have my top five offensive guards. You're looking for strength and blocking once again. At number five is the road to playoffs, Orlando Franklin. Solid strength and blocking stats. He goes for around 55k. Coming in at number four is the road to playoffs, Joel Betonio. He goes for around 85k because you need him for the Joe Hayden MVP set. Good speed, agility, and acceleration for a guard, and consistent blocking stats. At number three is the MVP John Azamoa card. No outstanding stats, but just very well rounded in strength and blocking stats. He costs about 60,000 coins. Crawling in at number two is the MVP Zane Beatles card. Obviously great strength and blocking stats, but he sold at around 250k as well. At number one, we have Larry Allen. 98 strength and run block. Very good, very expensive. Now we have my top three centers in Madden Mobile. Again, you're looking for strength and blocking. We have the captain card, Nick Mangold, at number three. He goes for around 150k. Mike Webster snaps in at number two. Sound blocking stats and strength stats. He goes for around 200k. And at number one is the man with the most fun name to say. You guys better say it with me now. Corey Lichtensteiger. The team MVP, Corey Lichtensteiger. Great strength. Good blocking stats. He goes for around 315k. On to the wide receivers. There are so many good wide receivers in this game, it was impossible for me to pick a top 10. Instead, I have a list of top 12 wide receivers, but they're in no order. If, you, if I like had to make a top 2 list, that would be much easier. It would be the 98 Steve Smith at number 2 and Jerry Rice at number 1. But after those two wide receivers, the other 11 wide receivers are so similar in stats. They have minute changes in certain attributes. 
it was too hard for me to dwindle the list down, like eliminate anyone from the list. So here's a screen cap of the spreadsheet I made with all 13 of their attributes. What am I saying? All 12 of their attributes. You guys can decide for yourself who you prefer to pick up for your team. In terms of cost from cheapest to most expensive, it's T.Y. Hilton, Keenan Allen, A.J. Green, Demarius Thomas, Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., Des Bryant, Chris Carter, Steve Young, and finally Jerry Rice. Now for my top three running backs. You're looking for speed, agility, acceleration, carry, trucking, and elusiveness, and a little bit of catching in case you need to dump a pass off. Sprinting to number three on my list is Marshall Falk. Great all around. He's about a million coins. <laughs> Flying in at number two is the football outsider's Jamal Charles. Even better speed, agility, acceleration, etc. He goes for about 175k, so not only is he better in my opinion than Marshall Falk, he's also much cheaper. Number one is obviously the 99 Bo Jackson. Just a ridiculous card, he's about 700k. Next, the top flexbacks. At number two is William Perry. That's if you don't run with your flexback. He has good blocking stats. Number one on this list doesn't care what you do with your flex back. He's the best runner and blocker, and you guessed it, it's the 99 Bo Jackson. So, if you like running with your flex back, Bo Jackson's the best, but Bo Jackson is also the best running back. If you like blocking with your flex back, Bo Jackson's the best blocker too, which is ridiculous. Moving on, we have my top tight ends. Now, this is interesting. If you don't pass to your tight end, the best blocking tight end in this game that I have found is this silver 73 Ben Hartsock. I don't know why, but his blocking stats are better than any other player that I've looked at. He's like a thousand coins. If you do pass to your tight end, my number two is Shannon Sharp. He goes for around 550k. Spiking in at number one is the MVP Rob Gronkowski. Great catching, a little slower than Shannon Sharp, but he has pretty decent blocking as well. He's around 250k. Finally, my top six quarterbacks. Some people really take speed into consideration, but the throwing stats should always be the priority. In my experience, you can't really tuck the ball in and run like you can in Madden on the console, so that's why I don't take speed into consideration. Cooking at number six is the Thanksgiving edition Troy Aikman. He's got good throwing stats and decent speed. You can pick him up for around 90k. The road to playoffs, Andrew Luck comes in at number 5. He has slightly worse throwing stats than Troy Aikman, but he has good speed. He's about 200k. Sitting behind his offensive line for about 8 seconds is the team of the week, Tony Romo, at number 4. He has surprisingly good throwing power and good throwing stats, and you can consistently purchase him in a bid war at around 60k. He's the only player on this list that you can get consistently from a, bid, from a bid war for much cheaper than he would go for for a buy now price. So that's a fun fact. The road to ring Peyton Manning is my number three quarterback. He has great awareness and great short and mid throwing stats. He's not very mobile. As you guys can see, he's not very mobile, but you don't have to be when you have good throwing stats like he does. You can get him for free. So I'm not going to bother telling you how much he costs on the auction block. After Peyton Manning, this is where it gets expensive. These are the legends that make everyone's mouth water. At number two is Steve Young. Most people would actually put him at number one because he has great throwing stats and amazing running stats. But in my book, he's number two simply because the number one is just amazing. Uh, this left-hander, Steve Young, goes for about 800k. I wonder if he actually throws left-handed in the game. I wonder if that they animated that in. My number one quarterback and the last for my offensive players is Joe Montana. Just ridiculous throwing stats, yet still good mobility. 99 short, 96 mid, and 95 long. That's ridiculous. His deep pass is the same as Tony Romo's, Andrew Lux, and Troy Aikman's short pass. Sadly, he goes for 800k too. 
that's going to do it, guys. Please leave a like on this video. It took a lot of research and a lot of hard work. Don't forget to check out my other videos, like my free gift card video, uh, my 95 overall team making video. Leave some suggestions and comments on what videos you guys want me to make next. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Take it easy, guys. My Seahawks just beat the Panthers. I'm out.